Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here, back with another video. Guys, today I want to take a look at Vertcoin and their recent hard fork that happened on February 2nd, 2019. And the change basically was to change the algorithm to Lyra uh, 2 Rev 3 from the Lyra 2 Rev 2. Um, because of uh, apparently ASICs and stuff were flooding the network. So one of the main things as well I wanted to look at was the hash rate since then, since the hard fork, and some Radeon 7 Vertcoin hash rates. And then we'll take a look to what to mine and the profits for that. But first, uh, let's take a look at the hash rate. As you guys know, Vertcoin is a... They've been around since 2014. I, I really I really like this project mainly because they are uh, they're ASIC resistant all that stuff they they change their algorithms uh, algorithm regularly to to fight against the ASICs and but I believe now they're also fighting against FPGAs they haven't claimed much saying that FPGAs have been on the market but I'm gonna show you guys in the second some information that I found uh, that FPGAs have probably mostly dominated this market this uh, algorithm Lyra 2 Rev 2 uh, before um, so as you can see here the hash rate so before February 2nd uh, so let's say February on January 31st the hash rate of vertcoin was uh, like 5.3 terahash and then come February 2nd February 3rd or February 2nd there it dropped down to 382 gigahash and now as of today February or as of yesterday February 10th it is around 464 gigahash so from 5.2 terahash all the way down to 4 400 450 gigahash I don't know if you guys can see that it's on the edge of my screen here on the right sorry about that uh, yeah so it dropped off significantly significantly and one of the reasons why I believe that is because these kind of guys squirrel research um, as you can see here their acorn CLE 215 it shows algorithms Lyra 2 Rev 2 and as you can see here it shows Lyra 2 Rev 2 also to boost your the uh, video cards as well um, 23%, 53% gain, 93% gain, 100%, you know, like <clears throat> 2.1 times. So if, if that, if that's what squirrel was claiming, I can see those hash rates that they were getting, then they've must, they must have been squirrel research must have been mining, um, uh, with their FPGAs. As you can see here, it started right. Uh, Vertcoin was about 1.4 terahash in October 21st. I believe this is when the FPGAs, the BCUs, were being shipped out. And look, boom, it jumped to like 3, 3 terahash. Uh, so, another reason also, I found this video. Uh, this is a video from Motorcycles Vancouver, uh, premiered th November 6, 2018. So November 6, 2018, if we go back to the hash rate chart here, uh, November, so November 6th, so right here. You guys can see my point right here, November 6, 2018. So this guy has a bunch of BCUs already. Um, Oops, uh, where's a where's a photo here? But uh, where is it? Yeah, so he's got he's got some B yeah he's got a whole bunch right here, right here. So these Xilinx and he's got the new Squirrel ones as well. Um, but in the middle of the video, I'll link it in the description. Um, he claims they claim that they have a Lyra two. Rev2 algorithm that they've been mining with on all their FPGAs. So 
boom, I found the culprit for basically all the hash rate right here. It's not, I don't believe it's because of ASICs, it's because of the FPGAs. It has to be, it has to be. So, and, but yeah, as you guys can see now, 464 giga hash. Um, also, I've been reading some FPGA uh, Discord stuff, and people are claiming now, now that Vertcoin and stuff have fallen off the algorithm, uh, the profits apparently have been crap for the FPGA. So, I don't know. There's probably something else they're mining right now, but nobody's really saying it. So, so yeah, that's just some backstory and some things I found, guys. Why Lyra two Rev two. Uh, was the hash rate was so high for Vertcoin and Vertcoin had to switch off because of the uh, FPGAs. Okay, next up, guys. Oh yeah, I want to show. So nice hash. Basically, as you guys can see here, they joined. Uh, they joined the Lyra two Rev three train. The pretty much the day of the hard fork. Uh, so as you can as you can see here, Lyra two Rev three. There's 222 giga hash on nice hash right now. So pretty much, pretty much, I would say 50% of the almost 50% of the Vertcoin hash rate network right now. Uh, 464 giga hash and nice hash is 222 giga hash. So <laughs> take that as you will. Vertcoin's already nice hash is already mining on the new Vertcoin algorithm. But as you can see here, it's not crazy hash. It's not a crazy network hash rate due to the FPGAs. Okay, guys, another thing I want to show you was uh, the Radeon 7. So the Radeon 7, apparently, this is on the Vertcoin subreddit. Uh, this was posted by BDF-1838. His name looks familiar. I think I've seen him on uh, on Discord and um, the FPGA Discord. And uh, he's got a Radeon 7 running at 140 watts uh, on Vertcoin. And the hash rate he's getting on Vertcoin Lyra 2 Rev 3 is 103 mega hash per sec per second. So that's insane at 140 watts. One of my one of my RX 570s is able to get 40 mega hash, and at about like 160 watts. So this card, this Radeon 7 card, is. A lot more efficient on Lyra 2 or 3. So, uh, if we go to, and actually, he has a picture, another picture here. Um, it's more test bench than rig. So, he, it just shows he's got his uh, Radeon 7 on a just a regular test bench. Uh, so, if we go to what to mine here, I already calculated it in. So, we got the ETH hash, 90 mega hash. And I don't know the wattage of the Radeon 7. No one's really claimed it yet, but I, I'm just going to put 200 watts. Um, and then there's a lot. Uh, just recently, what to mine added Lyra 2 Rev 3 to the uh, profitability list. So as you guys can see, I put in 100. I'll just put in 103. And he's got 140 watts for the card. And I'll put in my kilowatt per hour. Hit calculate. As you guys can see here, uh, so Vertcoin, number sixth on the list here. Vertcoin, Lyra 2 Rev 3, about 94 cents revenue, uh, about 68 cents profit a day after electrical costs. Um, oh, that's weird. 66 cents, 64, 63, 61, 68. How come Vertcoin's not the most profitable on that? Uh, might be a bug, but uh, okay. But yeah, this, as you guys can see, Vertcoin is is pretty prop is pretty profitable on the Radeon Seven right now. So, yeah, everyone go out and buy, go out and buy Radeon Sevens. Woo! Just kidding, just kidding. I, you guys are gonna find out that the Radeon Sevens are pretty much out of stock everywhere. And uh, I actually, I was trying to look to see if I could get one myself, but in my area up in Canada here, they're all sold out. So I'm not even going to try. I'm going to let the other people uh, do the hash rates. I believe Bits Be Trippin', uh, I believe also Buried One uh, is going to have one pretty soon. And they're going to do some benchmarks on it. 
So yeah, that's pretty cool, guys. As of right now, the Radeon 7 can do pretty good uh, hashing on the Lyra 2 Rev 3. Um, obviously, we don't know Kryptonite and and Ethereum for sure, but with BDF, this this post here showing that he can get 100 and, 103 mega hash uh, on a Radeon 7 at 140 watts. That's that's amazing. That's amazing. Uh, to compare that, my 6x570 rig. I can get about 201 mega hash total and the wattage is going to be about 720, 800 watts. Uh, so what's better, 100 mega hash or 200 mega hash but 720 watts versus 140 watts on the Vega set, Radeon 7. <laughs> yeah, not profitable on uh, my, this five, my 570 rig if I go down here. Uh, yeah, Vertcoin, it's not bad, but it's f the fifth on the list, 46 cents a day. <laughs> That's pretty brutal. Uh, but yeah, I mean, take it as you will, the cost of a 570 card right now, you can probably get it for 50 to 80 bucks, but the Radeon 7 right now is 700 bucks. So how many of those cards can I buy? But again, it's not as profitable as the Radeon 7 efficiency, so for the efficiency <clears throat> yeah so yeah so i just wanted to show you guys what's going on i'm 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 very interested uh in vert coin and the network and the hash rate and all that stuff so and the profitability so yeah let me know what you guys think down below and uh please like and subscribe all that good stuff i appreciate all of you Oh, it was a busy weekend for me, uh, setting up my second mining location, which is not even done yet. But uh, I'll have I'll have more of that updates uh, in the coming week for you guys. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Peace out.